Well, in about a week, the city council could clear the way for construction to begin a $42 million indoor sportsplex right next to the Spokane Arena. And many of you are wondering why the city is still looking into a downtown sports hub without asking voters first. Our Taylor Graham is working for you tonight. She looked at all of your messages and is here now to answer some of those questions. Taylor. Well, Nadine, when we first brought viewers this story last night, we had dozens of viewers reach out asking why this was still a discussion, even after November's vote on a replacement for Joe Albee's stadium. Voters, as you remember, wanted to keep the stadium where Joe Albee has stood for all these years. And to be clear, that's still happening. The school board listened to voters and opted not to build a stadium downtown. This sportsplex, though, is completely separate from that. The 180,000 square foot facility will hold space for track, wrestling, and volleyball events next to the arena. A lot of you told us last night was the first you heard about these plans. You asked why you didn't see this on your ballot. That's because the Public Facilities District is using money from an existing tax to pay for the complex. It's not creating a new tax, so a public vote wasn't required. Now that brings up another question. Who's paying for this complex? Well, here's the answer. $25 million is coming from bonds approved by the county. $11 million from the Public Facility District's Reserve Fund. That's made up of sales tax and other taxes that have already been paid. $5 million from the city if approved. And $2 million has been requested from the state capital budget. Now, if all goes according to plan, we'd see construction on this start this summer and the sportsplex up and running in 2021. In studio tonight, Taylor Graham. KXLY 4 News.